It's 7 2 y'all. I'm up on time. Well, like my early time or whatever. Um, I'm about to get, um, girl, I'm about to say I'm about to get up. I'm Kelly. If you're new here, if you're not new here, what's good? What's going on? Um, I ended up getting me some croissants from Trader Joe's last night. And you have to proof them overnight. It's so crazy, like, how big they got. This is weird. Okay, so you have to bake them for, like, 20 to 25 minutes. So, like, that's what I'm about to do while I get ready. And while I'm in here, I might as well go ahead and make my lunch. Uh, if I didn't say, also, today is Monday. It's 7 of I just said, I can't remember that. That's crazy. I don't even know what I just said to y'all. But um, I ended up leaving that chili out last night because it was extremely, extremely hot. And, you know, you're not supposed to put really, really hot food directly in the refrigerator. So I just decided to let it cool off. Like, why did I leave this dishwater in there too? What did I have going on? I did go to sleep really, really late. I was tired. And, like... I still ended up watching the show last night. I was watching All the Kings Men. I mean, All the Queens Men on BT. Child. I went to sleep on like, the second episode. And I fell asleep on it. So, like, it was just going while I was sleeping. I was like, oh, my God. I woke up on episode, like, seven. So, I'm going to have to, like, rewind. But let me make my lunch real quick. Okay, so chili, a potato. I need cheese and sour cream. I usually be having, like, an idea of what my week is going to consist of. But, like, I literally do not know, like. Only thing I know for a fact that needs to get done is editing because I filmed so many videos yesterday. That's what I know. And I ended up filming a story time last night, like, at the last minute. So, I don't know if I'm going to post that or not. We'll see. Because I was kind of all over the place because I couldn't, like, remember some stuff. And then I started to remember and I was like, oh, my goodness. All right, we got to make our bed because, like, that's just one thing that I want to start doing. I ended up putting my flowers in my room, y'all. If y'all didn't watch the last vlog, yeah, I know I missed some flowers. I just ended up putting them in my room next to my bed or whatever. And, child, I got all them lashes right there <laughs> that I had on last night. I've just come to the... To the realization that I don't like lashes on my on my eyes. Like, they irritate no matter if I do them or somebody else does them. I don't really like them. And I can only bear them for a while. And, like, I think I've been knowing that. Because every time I have lashes on my eyes, just be red for no reason. And irritated. Oh, but as y'all can see, that my bed is kind of already semi-made. Because I don't sleep under my comforter. I only sleep under the blanket. Because I'm, like, very hot nature. I get so hot and sweaty in my sleep. So, like, it's always cold in my house. That's why my L be only year-round, like, even when it's freezing outside. Let me go ahead and put the pants on because I feel like I got to keep pulling this down in case it's going to come off or something. Ooh, child, I haven't worn these pants to work in a minute. They're a little tight for sure, but they still cute or whatever. These pillows on their last leg, for real, they all out of whack. Period. How cute. With my flowers next to my bed. I'm really thinking about putting that vase back right there. Because my room just don't be looking cute no more. Oh my goodness. My phone is booming this morning, man. My phone. Let's think about this phone. She don't get no notifications. Especially not at 7 something in the morning. <laughs> the group chat Buffy and Camo just text me. Oh, I think Camo texted me about the chili because I sent her a picture of the chili last night. Yep. They, they took it. Hey, I don't know what they I don't know what they're talking about in the group chat, child. Let me go ahead and see. What's happening in this early? Yeah, I've been doing me a skincare. Ooh, this was way too much. I've been doing me a skincare routine every night. Ever since my face decided to act a fool on me when my period was on. And I think it's working. I'll probably share it with y'all tonight. I tried to keep my damn eyebrows on from yesterday, so I wouldn't have to do them this morning. They 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 low key up, they low key ain't. Let's put the same wig back on. I told y'all I had to. I told y'all I had to take pictures for the wig company yesterday, child. I got some headshots in the car. They're not my favorite, but they're not bad either. So I'm hoping that they accept them. 
Okay. One thing about a glueless, she gonna get me right for work. I ain't even gonna lie. I might as well do one of the promo videos for work for real. Like low key do it at night time and then just like put it on in the morning. She's cute and a blunt cut is gonna do it for me every single time. Let's check on these croissants. My croissant. Oh no, they're definitely not done. It's been like 20 minutes though. It says 20 to 25 minutes on the thing. I don't know. Let's do a little outfit of the day for work. Okay, so I got on this little blouse. <laughs> I got this little blouse. I don't know why I got this shirt from y'all. I've been having this shirt ever since college. Because I needed like some professional clothes to dress up whenever I used to do like extracurricular in my sorority stuff. So this. And then I got on some. um Girl, what these things called? My mind always go blank when I'm trying to describe something. Some play um, little pants i guess you would call them i think i got these from h&m as well like a long ass time ago i think i've also had these since college fyi a lot of my work clothes are clothes that i've had since college because i always had to kind of dress professionally in college because i was always doing something so yeah i've been needing work clothes for a very long time but i yeah i don't really be you know want to buy that <sighs> let's see is it cold outside today though it's 49 degrees, which is bearable, so I'm not going to wear that big coat. I'm probably just going to wear my jean jacket today and call it a day. What else do I need to do this morning? I'm really kind of all over the place, y'all, since I went to bed so late last night. Like, I'm not even thinking straight. For real, for real. I don't know. I, I think I'm done. I think I'm literally only waiting on these croissants. My lunch right here, my price right here, put my jacket on. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to make sure I bring my backup phone because I need to edit on there. And the backup battery. Okay, I think that's it. And I think I'm just going to come back and talk to you guys later after I get off of work. Because I really want my day to be productive. So I'm just trying to like go into it with my mind right on the way to work. I'm probably just going to watch me a little vlog or something. Just like, you know, relax or whatever. And then tonight, we're, I guess we're, I'm going to have to kind of figure out what my week is going to consist of. Because I kind of do need to come up with a schedule as far as editing. Since I filmed so much content this weekend. And I also want to like give y'all some more tips on this video as well because I think y'all asked me for some tips. I'm gonna have to, I wrote them down so I'm gonna have to see what tips y'all was asking me for. So, yeah, there's that. Happy Monday! I hope that you guys have a really good day. Um, stay optimistic because that always makes it better. Oh, wait, I wanted to show y'all my croissants. This is what they look like, y'all. I did not know it was gonna be this big, but I'm about to mess these up. These look so good. One thing about me, I'm gonna have a package. What's this called? Which one is it? It's over here somewhere, I bet. Yep, I knew it. All right, let's see what we got. I'm so happy to be at home, y'all. I am, I'm tired. Today was a Monday, for real, for real. It wasn't even that it was that stressful. It was that I just did not want to be there. I know what I ordered, but why did it come in this big ass box? Oh, this is cute. I ended up ordering something from Skims Valentine's Day shop. Oh, this is cute. I ain't even opened it up yet. I gotta get a thumbnail. Should I get a thumbnail with our bags like these? All right, that'll do. I'll work with the settings or whatever. But let me show y'all what I ended up getting. So, um, I wasn't going to get nothing. Because I'm like, this lady overcharging for, I mean, Skims is overpriced regardless and I still be buying it. But I just felt like this stuff was going to be crazy. But I ended up getting these. These are so freaking cute. The cherries on them. Every time I shop skims, I get these kind, uh, type of bottoms. Just because, like, these just the only ones that I really like for real. I be thinking about getting the long leg ones, but I just never do. And something about spending $60 on them don't seem right to me. And then, um, this is something new that I haven't ever bought from her. Which is, like, a little jacket. And I just thought that this was so freaking cute. Like, the jacket with them, with them bottoms. Like, let's get into it. And it got a little hood on it. She ate down with this collection. So, I was like, I gotta buy it. 
I I paid a hundred dollars for this set, but it's worth it because I like it. I don't work for nothing now. I'm gonna get some stuff that I like. And then the other thing that I had ended up getting, I had to go check my mailbox because I ain't checked it in a couple of days. Golly, they didn't bend my box all up. But as y'all can see, I didn't got the topicals, um, little eye patches. Uh uh, they need to take these back because my box need to be cute. But it come with like six, I think. So six packs. And then it's, I think it's two of each in one. I hope these things are $20. <sighs> but that's what we got. I really don't feel like doing nothing. Um, I have to go back in. I was editing on my break. I did a story time. And I uploaded the video and everything. So that way, once I got home, all I had to do was make the thumbnail and upload it. Why did I watch the video on my way home and it keep glitching? CapCut really be pissing me off. Really. Like, come on, bro. What do you keep glitching, like making my videos glitch for? Like, I do the same exact thing every single time. So, what is the problem? I, I'm not understanding. <sighs> so, that's aggravating. So, I'm about to try to go ahead, go back in, upload it again to the, the hard drive, upload it again to YouTube. I wanted to upload it today. It's 6.30, so maybe I can get it up by 10 at the latest. Because I really need to post today. But that's really all I got. That's all I got for today. Hopefully, this week gets better. Because I feel like... I wasn't ready for this the start of this week. Like I just don't feel like I was I was there. Like I I don't know. I gotta get it together. And then we got wigs that came in today. And I'm not even mad at that because I did two wig collapse because all I gotta do is like edit them. So like I don't feel like I just got a whole bunch of wigs sitting around. I got like this red curly wig and then the other one. Damn, it's another curly wig. I got two curly wigs to do. So that is my Monday, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and eat me some of this chili probably. And do what I gotta do. Shit, I, I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, and I am tired. We did not wake up early today, and that's okay. There are gonna be those days, y'all. I'm honestly just tired because, like, YouTube dragged me through the mud last night. Like, y'all, the story time I was telling y'all about that I uploaded, I had to upload it three times. It just kept glitching. And I thought it was CapCut, but then I watched it from my flash drive, and it was YouTube. It's like every time I uploaded it, it made a different part glitch. And I'm like, what is going on? So I finally uploaded it one last time, and it, it almost wanted to glitch, but then it got right. And I literally sent it to two people and I was like, can y'all please watch this video for me and let me know if it glitches. So I finally made it public again at damn 11 o'clock. I hate posting that late. But it's up, child. It's up. It's up. So yeah, child, I was up all night trying to figure that out. And then I was also up editing TikTok. So I mean, I'm proud of myself for getting it done. So it is what it is. But we are sleepy and I am definitely drinking me some coffee this morning. I wonder do I got time to stop. I mean, if I don't have time to stop, I'm going to make time to stop. But I'm trying to think about if I even want to, like, because I could either get coffee out or I could get coffee at work because we have, like, a coffee maker. And I could kind of use, like, some hot coffee this morning. Like, that sounds good. But, like, the cream that they got be so fucking nasty. Like, I don't know. And I'm sure I've said this a thousand times. I cannot wait for it to get hot. Being cold is just so uncomfortable. Like, if you choose winter over, like, spring or summer... Like, I understand why people don't want to be hot, hot. But, like, if you choose cold weather over warm weather any day, I'm just going to assume you crazy. Because I feel like when it's cold outside, you cannot get warm. Like, I'm not talking, like, in a house with a heater. No, like, if you're outside and you have to be outside and you got to do something outside, it don't matter how many layers of clothes you have on, you will still be freezing. Like, that is so uncomfortable to me. Like, uh-uh. i much rather it be, like, springtime, summertime, walk outside in no clothes. I sweat a little bit, but I'm good. Like, freezing, you literally be shaking till you just fucking can't no more. Like, that's crazy. Especially people who live where it's snow at, girl, I'm praying for y'all. Because, girl, who? Oh, we. I, I'm cold right now. What it is? It's 35 degrees out, y'all. 35. 
I hate when trucks be in front of me. Like, girl, I can't even see traffic. Like, you need to, to get out the way. Oh, them brakes bad. Y'all need to go get that checked out. Oh, child. It's so crazy. This week is starting off just so not, not her. Like, ugh. The last weekly vlog, we was on our Zoom. But I do understand, like, everything ain't always gonna be, like, how, like, perfect. You know how you want it to be. But, like, I don't know. I ain't feeling it. I'm ready for this week to be done. I don't even got no plans for the weekend. I just want to lay down. That's it. I just want to lay down. Oh, y'all, my wig almost just came off because I tried to, like, sit up and sit back. And I was, like, laying on the wig. It almost kind of slid back because I got it as loose as possible. <laughs> because, like, it could literally come off at any moment with the slightest little budge. Because I got it as loose as possible, like the band. Because when I'm at work and I have this band on all day, it gives me headaches every single time. So, like, I have to wear this wig as loose as possible. So, it, it might be looking wiggy too, but I really don't care. Like I tell y'all all the time, when I'm at work, I literally be in my own little bubble, in my own little office space. And I don't talk to nobody and nobody talks to me. <laughs> well, I mean, I do talk to people, but like only on some like you need something from me real quick. I need something from you. But nine times out of ten, we write on Teams. And if y'all don't know what Teams is, it's basically just like a group chat with Microsoft. And we communicate like that, child, because who about to keep getting up from their desk anyway? It's not me. Y'all, I feel like my piercing is having like a regression because at first I felt like, oh my God, this healing was finally getting up. And lately it been hurting. And I think I have like a little bump, you know, like them little bumps you get when you have a piercing. I'm gonna have to get like some tea tree oil and put it on there and see like if that helps. But I also need to stop picking at it, but I, I can't. Like, what is it called? Like when you have something like a like a, a, a bump or like a scale or something and you just can't leave it alone. Like that's me. Like if I have something on my face, I'm gonna pick at it until it's gone. Like I'm, I keep picking at my ear every single day, even though I keep telling myself to leave it alone. Like I just, I don't know what that is about. Like, if, if, if I know it's there, I'm just going to keep messing with it. Girl, last night we were supposed to be coming up with a schedule for the week. I don't really think I'm going to make a schedule for this week simply because of how it's going. But I am going to talk to y'all about some editing stuff. I cannot remember. One of y'all asked me to tell y'all something. I'm going to have to go back through the comments and um see. But I'm definitely going to give some more edited tips in this video. Um, I'm probably going to show y'all how I do my thumbnails. Um, because I know a lot of people be wanting to know how to do that, and it's so simple. Like, I know sometimes, like, they don't be looking the easiest, but honestly, they be easy. You do have to have, like, a little bit of creativity when it comes to that, because you want your videos to be clickable, but I'll show y'all, like, the basis of, like, you know, what I use and how I go about my thumbnails. Oh, my God, I can't leave it alone. I kind of want to get, like, a big calendar, because, like, the way I used to operate is writing stuff down, but, like, I don't know, I think my phone has kind of, like, stopped me from doing so because I feel like I could just put everything in my notes. Whole time, like, I probably really need to do, like, the do not get your ass over here. The whole time, I really do need to do, like, write it down and see. It. So, maybe I should do something along those lines. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. What helps y'all out when it comes to, like, getting stuff done? Like, me, I'm definitely big on to-do lists. But sometimes I don't be doing it. I think my problem is just procrastination. Cause like I'ma get some shit done, but I'ma get it done at the very last minute. Like I, I'm gonna literally take my time because I know I don't have a choice but to get it done. So I be in sport mode. <laughs> get shit done one whole time I had all this time to do it. And I prefer to waste that time. Now I'm, now I'm mad at me. Y'all, I am really in love with my nails. Like, they're just so freaking cute. I love that for me because usually when I do go out of my comfort zone, I regret it very quickly afterwards. But I really love these. Like, I'm not mad at them. And they can stay on for, for a good little while. I mean, of course, not over a month. But these are really cute. I'm thinking about what I want to do next. Send me nail inspo. Drop the nail inspo to my uh, DM and let me know you sent it. Because sometimes 
I'll be telling y'all, Instagram be sending y'all messages to hidden, and I'll be like, why the fuck is this in the hidden? Especially if you ain't said nothing crazy. I don't know what that is about. But send me nail inspo, because your girl, we outside, we doing, we, we getting festive. Especially when, because it's about to get hot, I'm definitely going to do more like colors and stuff like that. So let me know. And I think I want to go long maybe once or twice this summer. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and watch me a little YouTube video to make this ride to work go by faster because, like, I'm ready to get this call. I need to get my coffee. And I'm just going to come back and talk to you guys tonight, for real, for real, and then show y'all or give y'all some tips. Today was another day. Not a bad day. But it was another another one of them like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I was so freaking busy today. I didn't even edit on my break because I was, y'all yeah, know how I get. If I don't edit on my break, that means I've just had too much and I really need a break. So we didn't get anywhere with editing. So literally all I could think about while I was at work is like, I can't wait to get home and have a drink. So I'm actually excited to try this. If y'all watched the last vlog, I got this. Prosecco from Trader Joe's. It's called Seco Mango. I think Seco is the brand. I really don't know. It got 8% alcohol in it. So, like, not too crazy. I'm assuming it's probably just going to taste good. Give me, like, a little buzz or whatever. I wonder should I shower then do this? No, I'm, 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 I'm going to start drinking now. And then we can shower. Then we're going to edit. <laughs> Smells kind of strong. It smells like I don't, it smells like something that I've had before. I don't know. Cheers. Oh, this definitely needs to be cold. Pretty good though. It's like it's more like a it's it's kind of like a wine. Definitely needs to be cold though, cause it's not it's not that I feel like I feel like it'll taste better being cold. But how was y'all's day? It really like I be um getting home ready to talk on the phone with y'all, cause that's really how I be. How was y'all's day? Comment down below, like if you had a good day today, don't matter what day it is. How was work for you if you went? Like, do y'all like work in office or do y'all still be working from home? I wish I was working from home. Okay. I wish. But my day was a lot, but it was good. I'll say that like just because it was a little overbearing, it was good. Like I didn't have like any issues. I didn't have any like cases that stressed me out. Like everything was just kind of like a go. Like I I had something to do and I did it. If you I'm pretty sure like y'all don't work at a law firm. I'm about to say if you don't work at a law firm, but if you do work at a law firm, then you would know that, like, a lot of that stuff is super easy. Like, it's literally all straight to the point. You just have to know the steps to get something done, and it's like that. Like, so every case is, like, pretty much the same. So I do the same exact task on every single case. So, like, I can kind of get stuff done without even thinking about it, and I can do multiple things at one time. So, like, but there will be times where you run into some cases that, you can't work exactly how you work the other ones or like you got to skip a step or like take extra time on this one thing because like you know but I didn't have any of that today like everything was pretty straightforward and like good I was just busy as heck and then like on my break what I did do is I was looking for like some stuff for my birthday like birthday plans and I couldn't find nothing I couldn't like it's like I, I found stuff but it was also like stuff that was out of my budget because like I don't think I've told y'all, but I think I've made the decision that I'm not going to have a party. I I don't know. I've been back and forth with myself because I've been wanting to have a party since last year. I told y'all that. But my whole thing is now is that I'm just really not in the spirit to do so. So I don't, I don't want to. Like, I talked to y'all on my last vlog about, like, family. I don't want to be surrounded. I, ooh, that sounds so freaking bad. But I don't. I don't want to be surrounded around any of them. If I'm being honest, I would like to just enjoy my birthday with me. And maybe like a friend or two. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, like I'm a little bit annoyed as well. Because if y'all don't know, my friend's birthdays is like... All of our birthdays is is around each other. Like me and Tati's birthday literally like a week and some days apart. 
then next the next month is b and dad's birthday so like with all of our birthdays being so close to each other and like us having like real life stuff going on too this year is looking like nobody's spending their birthday with each other so like i'm really like it's sad but i think like i'm more annoyed than sad but i'm understanding of it because like people really have stuff to do and all of our schedules don't align like you know what i'm saying like it just don't work you know so what i'm thinking about doing is i don't know like i'm just gonna take a trip and like whoever can come just come but i also don't even want it to be like a lot of people i'm thinking maybe like two three of us full max possibly i don't really know like that's what i plan on doing just going somewhere um i don't even know like what days i don't know none of that so i've been looking for that on my break today so i couldn't really find too many places everything that i found was just crazy in a price and since it is last minute what i want to do is i want to kind of just pay for the room that way whoever i do invite all i gotta do is pay for their wedding you know what i'm saying like make it easier because it's giving like i want to go anyway so I, i'm gonna just pay if i gotta pay for it so there's that. So I was kind of stressing about that as well. So I was like, what the fuck am I finna do? So comment down below, maybe like some places that I can go. I really rather go out the country, but like nothing crazy. Like just last minute, but like I'm glad I went there type vibes. You know, I was looking at, what did I look at today? I looked at Cancun, Tulum, like a lot of places in Mexico, but I don't want to go to Mexico because I've already been to Mexico. Even though I haven't been to those two places in Mexico, I want to go somewhere just different. I looked at um, Curacao, but they are, they kind of expensive over there. I looked at Turks and Caicos, baby. I'm not going there. Uh, I'm not going there unless I'm ready to ball the fuck out like Drake. So, yeah, just help your girl out. I don't know, y'all. I need to figure that out, but... Yeah, it's just been a lot on my mind today. But let me go ahead and take a shower. And then I'm going to, I guess, come back in and give some editing tips. I was going to show y'all how to do the thumbnail. We didn't did the video yet. But I guess I kind of could do the thumbnail before I do the video. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how to do a thumbnail when I get out the shower. Because that's going to be easy for me to, like, show y'all. And then, like, I, I, I got to get the editing. So. so, all my corporate employees, when your boss asks you, how was your weekend? Why would you say this? Why would you say this? These are not your friends, okay? They don't okay. need to know that you were popping bottles all weekend at the club, okay? When they ask you this, the correct answer is this. You were at home, minding your business, catching up and preparing for the next week of work. Simple. These are colleagues. That's why I ain't gonna lie. Maybe anytime they ask me what I did for the weekend, oh, nothing. I just, I was tired. I just slept all weekend. That's my favorite go-to line. Because don't worry about what I do. I'll be outside. Okay? <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I took a shower, of course. I ate the rest of them little dumplings that I had in the freezer. And I got me a little oatmeal pie right here as a snack. I'm trying to think if I want me another <gasps> cup or not. I really don't need that. But my computer really acting stupid. I don't know if it's a computer or a cap cut, but like. Every time I plug the SD card in, it keeps saying the files is not found. Or is it the SD card? I hope not because Lord. I got a lot of footage on this SD card. But, um, I guess I'm going to show y'all how to make the thumbnail for this specific video that I'm about to edit right now. Which I usually do not do. I always make my thumbnail very last. That's always the last step for me. But, like, for the sake of, like, saving time, that's. This is what we're going to do. So, um, I'm trying to make sure I don't got no pictures on here. I don't want y'all to see. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but like, you know, you just never know. Because I be screenshotting all type of stuff too. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to screen record so y'all can see. Oh, damn. I don't have screen record on this phone. What that other phone that I just had it. Damn, I just, oh, it's right here. I'm going to screen record on this one. Okay, y'all, so when I'm about to go ahead and make my thumbnail, the first thing I do is I make a collage, and I always use photo grid. That is what I use to make my collage. Some people like to use Canva, but I automatically just always go to photo grid. Maybe like a habit type of thing, but whatever. All right, so I go to grid, and then as y'all can see, like I got all type of pictures and stuff, child. Like I said, I be screenshotting all type of stuff. But what we're looking for is pictures pertaining to 
this video okay so i know for sure i'm going to add this in there because i made chili so that's one of the um pictures i'm probably gonna add oh i wanted to add this picture because i went to go get sushi but see now i got two food pictures and i really don't like having two of the same things so i just try to like get the most important stuff from the from the damn picture so i think i'm gonna use this one as my uh whatever and then what else i wanted to put my nails on the but I only like to do four pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and take that chili off. And then I always like to put a picture of myself. Like a picture of myself has to make the cut. Just because a lot of people don't always read. But if they scroll and they see your face, they just going to click. Because I know that's what I do. Sometimes I don't be reading. Even though the name right there clears day, But still. What picture? Are we going to use the edited pictures? I really don't want to use any of these pictures. Because these pictures is for Instagram. But hey. I don't want to use this one because I posted this one on Instagram. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Okay, we're going to use that one. Okay, so now you guys see that we have our faux pictures. So, um, I go ahead and get rid of that. Sometimes you got to watch an ad to remove it, but I go ahead and get rid of the little um, watermark. So, I just kind of like figure out in what order I want the pictures in. I, the picture of myself, it, I don't know. I was about to say I always put it on the inside, but I don't always do that. So, that would be a lie. So... Um, I don't know. You just want to kind of like make it big enough or whatever. So that I'm going to move this picture of me over here. And then make it bigger. Okay, that's cute. Bring that down. Make this bigger. And then make this bigger as well. I don't know if I want to make that one bigger. But y'all see how like the symmetry is kind of off. It's like high 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 then the phone go low i'll be looking at stuff like that so i don't really like stuff like that so let's see how the other phone picture look that's also why i take multiple pictures of things because sometimes i don't know how i'm gonna like the angle of it so let's try that see this one looks way better boom and we're just gonna use this as reference even though i really don't like this i'm probably gonna end up like working with it but okay so what i'm gonna do is save it to my phone once it saves it automatically saves. I'm going to go to Canva. And I have Canva Pro. So I can honestly do like a lot of different things. And I use the same exact template on Canva. To edit my um, thumbnails every single time. So I don't have to go back in and do the settings. But there is a setting on here. I think you can search for like um, YouTube thumbnail. Let me see. It, it, you can search in YouTube thumbnail. And it's literally going to give you the dimension that you need. But for me I usually just go ahead use the same one that i've been working on so like my last video was the story time so what i'll do is i'll just go in and delete that picture i'll delete the words off of it so now i'm just working with a blank canvas and i'll go in and add the picture that i just made so add to page and then just let it load or whatever once it loads up i just go ahead and make it fit perfectly and then like boom so now i gotta figure out like what i want the words to be so i would just go to like the text and i just always um do like that second option where it says add a subheading i use that one and then i just kind of make it bigger and then i just kind of i don't know what what was this this was a weekend vlog so i'm gonna just do weekend vlog but i'm gonna change it to white because clearly y'all can't see that the um when the letter is black and then always 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 what i like to do when i'm um doing words i like to go to effects and then i go to lift it and i bring it all the way to 100 i don't know if y'all can tell the difference so see like it's not much definition but now it's definition so that way if i wanted to make the words a different color like it still pops but i don't really like this font of course this is like the regular font that they like to give you I also have Pro, so I have a lot of different fonts. So, like, this is a font that I was using at one point. This is actually super cute. Maybe I'll use this. Um, I don't know. I just kind of, like, play around with it, y'all. So, like, let's say I just wanted to put it here in the middle, which I wouldn't really do because I feel like it's, it's... I try to move it to where it's not, like, covering anything up. 
So let's just say I wanted to go with this. Let's make it a little bit bigger and move it over some. Possibly like that. I don't know. Let's just say like that's what I wanted to do. Boom. We're done making our thumbnail. Now I'm going to go all the way up here to the top right. Click the little arrow. Click download. And then you always want to choose the JPG option. That's picture of course. Download it. And then it's going to ask you, like, do you want to share it and all that? I usually just exit that out. And then it automatically saves to my phone. But um, we were unable to export this design. Please try again. Uh-uh, babe. That don't ever really happen. So what's going on? Let me try again. Okay. That time is saved. Period, pool. All right. So let's go back to the pictures. And there's my thumbnail, period, yeah. So that is how I make my thumbnails. And that's something I like to do as far as thumbnails go. Sometimes, like, I really just don't know what I want to do. So I'll literally kind of go scrolling on YouTube just to kind of see, like, get ideas. I don't ever try to copy anybody's thumbnail verbatim, but I do scroll on YouTube to just kind of see like what's the new trends with thumbnails because if y'all don't know, just like everything else, types of thumbnails trend. So a lot of girls use the same different, I mean the same type of fonts, the same setup, the same this, this and that. So I just kind of get a feel of what the girls are doing, what people are liking and I kind of just go best off of that but add my own little mm to it. Or I'll have my times where I'll like do something that I like and I'll just keep that same exact like words, but I'll switch it to say something different, but I'll keep the same font, same whatever. And then, you know, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but sometimes I just don't be feeling creative and I'll be like, well, we just going to do a regular little one too. And then sometimes I try to like add different stuff to my thumbnail to make it cuter, arrows, the words and all of that. So let me just know if y'all want to see like a more detailed thumbnail and I'll show y'all that. But yeah, that's um tonight's lesson. I'm about to go ahead. I think I am about to make me some more of these. It's 7.42. I am putting myself on a strict schedule. I have to be in a bed by like 9.30, 10. So we have to get the editing. And I'm going to come back and see you guys in the morning. I had to come back before I go to sleep. I need to uh, tell y'all something before I go to bed. Okay, if you do content and you know you're starting to charge now. You know things are... You know, you got your set price on how much you're going to charge or whatever. Okay, so I'm, y'all know I got, I ain't even going to tell y'all what it is. I'm not even going to tell y'all what it is. Okay, so this company that I'm working with, they, I told them a rate, right? They said, okay. They ain't even give me no back and forth on it. They said, okay. So I sent them the video. I sent them the video pretty fast. Like I gave them the video within three days, like quick. So they get the video, they like, so good, sweetie, you know how they, how they be. They was like, only thing we need you to do is just add the words to the video. Like, what is it? Like, in, at, the, at the beginning of it. And I was like, okay, I could do that for y'all. And then they asked me what the PayPal is. I was like, um, here's the PayPal. Be sure to pay the PayPal fee. That is what I said. So they gonna write me back and say, what they say, honey, we've already, um... They said, because basically, like, this time I raised the rate because the video did so well that I did with them in the past. They said, honey, we already raised the fee for the collab. Can you cover the PayPal rate? And I said, no. The fee for the video is the fee for the video. That has nothing to do with PayPal. I'm not paying for that. I'm not covering that. So, they simply told me, we're going to send you the amount that I said and... Um, we won't cover the PayPal fee. Then they proceeded to send the money right after that. Before I could even respond to the email. Like they did it back to back. So I simply replied. And I told them. Please cover the PayPal fee. Because I will not be doing that. They gonna try to tell me. Honey we will pay it for to you next time. Can you just post the video? No. And I tell y'all this to tell y'all. Stand on y'all shit. Like, if you tell a company, this is my rate, this is my rate. They don't got nothing to do with, with whatever else. Y'all got to cover that fee. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I told you a certain price, and that's the price that it need to be. Mind y'all, the PayPal fee was fucking $5. And that goes to show y'all how cheap these Chinese 
companies and all of that. That's that's goes to show y'all how they be. Okay, they will sit there and go back and forth with you about five dollars when they could have just paid the fee. So now I told them, if y'all don't pay me in full, I'm not posting a video until I get it. So now not only do they have to pay me that extra $5, they have to pay another fee on top of that fee in order to send me the $5. And that's on y'all. Because don't play with me. And once I get my money, I'll post a video. Then, my job, I work with them in the past. They asked me, sweetie. They said, okay, to the $5, and they said, sweetie, can you pin our video? Maya, this video has over a million views. Over a million. And I sold a good bit of the products, you know? I said, okay, this will be an extra fee. Me saying they're really thinking that they're about to be like, all right, don't worry about it. They said, okay, we'll pay you $50. I mean, yeah, that's what they said. They said, okay, we'll pay you $50. Why do these people think they can play with me? $50 to pin a video that got over a million views that's potentially, after I pin it, going to get another million views because when people come to my page, that's the first video they're going to see. Are y'all insane? Are y'all smoking? Like, it just really goes to show you that these companies are cheap. Tell them, them, tell them your price. Do not budge with them. You can negotiate. It's okay to negotiate sometimes because, you know, if you really want to work with somebody, it's okay to negotiate. But stand firm on your shit. Like, and if they try to play with you, if they see you not budging or whatever, they're going to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they need their content posted. And another thing, before y'all are working with these tech companies and it's not a hair company I'm talking about, but like before y'all start working with companies and stuff like people in China, before y'all send them them job videos, y'all need to watermark y'all videos. Whenever I send them videos, I send them a video with a whole bunch of watermarks on it with my ad name and draft on it. So that way they cannot even post the video if they wanted to without that being on there. It's no way around it. And I put multiple. I put like six or seven all over the video. But I put them small to where you can read them. But like small to where you can still see what I'm doing in the video. So pro tip, pro tip. And that's my last little social media tip of the day. Now I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep. <laughs> Yo. Yo. This morning... I don't know why this week going the way it's going. You know what? I think it's it's my fault it's going the way it's going. Because I sat there and I said, this not my week. When I should have said, this is my week so it can be going better than what the fuck it is. Okay? First things first. I actually woke up on time. Like, I woke up early. I, I had my alarm set because y'all know I got two phones and I saw I had the alarm set for really, really early. And I had the other phone on the dresser. That way I had no no option but to get out the bed i got out the bed and got right back in the bed because it was too cold in the house y'all forgot to turn the heat on last night so i literally woke up freezing like i i could not move around if i wanted to i, I literally got out the bed like <laughs> i got to lay back down and of course when we laying back down i ended up dozing back off and i was like i got another alarm set i'm gonna just get up no i kept clicking snooze oh my god and the whole the crazy thing about this is like i had to get up early today which is why i put the phone on the dresser so i would get up and i did not get up because i had a collab to do this morning with um like i was supposed to do my hair like with this little i can't think of the, the name of the thing or whatever but i had to do my hair and i was supposed to make a tiktok of me taking it down this morning so we're gonna have to try again tomorrow and I think tomorrow is like the deadline for me to do it. And this why I'm not doing this TikTok shop stuff no more because like the time frame that they give was just too short for me. Uh uh. Uh uh. So, boom, that happened. And then y'all, right after yesterday, right after I got out the shower, girl, they need to get them brakes fixed. Right after I got out the shower yesterday, y'all, I put clothes in the washing machine because I literally had no more, like, work pants. Like, all my work pants got worn because I haven't washed clothes. So, I put them in the washing machine, y'all, and I'm telling myself, don't forget to take them out. Don't forget to take them out. Y'all know last night I didn't edit it in this. Everything else. Forgot. I woke up this morning looking for pants to put on, and I was like, oh, my. Like, not only... Am I like 
effed up because I ain't got nothing to put on. I'm effed up because I cannot keep leaving my clothes in a washing machine, bro. Like, I keep doing that and it's like i'm gonna have to just i'm gonna have to get a whole new wardrobe because i'm messing my clothes up so i put them in a dryer like they didn't really smell like i didn't they didn't i don't know you know what i'm saying they didn't really smell so i'm hoping that like when i go back in and take them out that they smell good but if not i'm just gonna have to wash them again today I might wash them hoes twice. <laughs> but I gotta pay attention and put them in the dryer. So, with that being said, I'm looking everywhere high and low for some work pants. Like, I don't have nothing to put on. All I have is a skirt. And I'm not wearing no skirt. It's freezing outside. So, yeah, I'm looking in the bins with my, like, old clothes and stuff like that. And I found some pants, but they, they like, high water. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to show y'all when I get to work. But, like, what's going on? Like, this is really crazy. And I'm like, having to look for all of that, I'm not going to be early. I'm going to probably make it to work on time, maybe like five minutes late. But like, what the freak? What is going on? We're going to, you know, we're, we're about to turn this week around. This is my rest of the week. This is my rest of the week. The rest of this week is going to be so good. I'm going to get stuff done and we're going to be productive and we're going to just end this week feeling amazing. Okay, because that is what we need. We're going to wake up on time for these next two days. And we're going to do what we got to do. Because today was just unacceptable. As y'all can see, I got on a whole different wig. Because the wig that I was supposed to, it still got the little rappy thing on it. And I'm like, Lord, I can't take that off because the collab. So, child, I got on this wig. This looking real wiggy. I ain't got no brows on. It's all right, though. It's all right. Y'all y'all know the vibes over here. It is what it is sometimes. And we just going to go with the flow shoot what else can i do <laughs> but i mean i'm still in a good mood that's one thing i can't say about this week it has not gone at all how i had wanted it to go but i have been in a good mood so i'm not complaining about that usually i'm not feeling my best and i'm feeling a little down not even knowing why but i'm in a good mood and i'm happy so it is what it is like just minor income minor inconveniences i was about to say major but that's really not major minor inconveniences which are fine. But while I was getting ready, I was watching um, Don't Call Me White Girl. I really got to finish the episode. But um, it was making me think about, like, all the current topics that's going on. And they was talking about rap beef. And I assumed that they was about to get into Nicki and Meg. How y'all feel about, like, the Nicki and Meg beef? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of biased. Only because, like, I've told y'all, I used to be a barb. Like, in high school, middle school, high school, I was a barb. Like, I love Nikki down. Like, I used to ask my mama, can I get my hair all them crazy-ass colors like her? I got a bob because of her. Like, it was just a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be a barb for real. But, like, ever since she started to be, like, a mean, messy, old-ass hag, I have not fucked with her. Like, I really haven't. And, like, she has just rubbed me the wrong way. And that's why I say, like, when it comes to me and, like, liking artists, I think that character really does matter. So, like, with her being in all the scuffles and all that with the girls, it made me really not like her or whatever. So, like, of course, like, I kind of lean more towards Meg because I honestly did kind of feel like Meg was, you know, low-key the victim. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody keep coming for Meg. So, Meg made a diss track coming for everybody. But after I had watched Messy Monday yesterday and, like, Zoe kind of broke it down a little bit, you know what I'm saying, from what he, you know, what he could put uh, together it did show like both sides really was on some messy shit though you know what i'm saying like but we all know it's more than two sides to a story you know what i'm saying it's always always more than two sides to a story it's your side they side in the actual truth or i mean sometimes the truth is just it, it sometimes everybody's story is the truth it's just different sp the perspectives but i just was like I didn't really realize how much Meg had kind of, like, poked at her. You know what I'm saying? Because it was like, oh, wow, okay. And I, I really was trying to figure out where they beef started from, but Zoe think it's from when she had did the song with Cardi B or whatever. Y'all know Nicki don't like Cardi B. And Nicki just kind of like one of those people, like, if you fuck with her, like, you know, you got to fuck with her. Like, you know, she ain't no, she ain't no playing size-ass bitch. So I... He said that he think that's where it started. And I mean, like, shit, I, don't, I really don't know. So I'm like, that do make sense or whatever. But 
it is the industry and it is a business at the end of the day so i really do feel like being mad at somebody for making a song with somebody else is crazy especially if it's not like a diss song or nothing like wow that ain't have nothing to do with nobody it was just a good ass song i could see if they was on the track like talking about bitches and this and that and that and that you know what i'm saying but that was not the case so i really yeah but i i did see that like meg had some some little shit you know that she be saying about it here and about multiple people too, not even just Nikki. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm still more so on Meg's side though. I ain't gonna lie, just because like Nikki, you 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 didn't been in too many little scuffles to to say you just innocent now. Nah. You know, you you been in a little too many of. <laughs> and then Nikki fans just do too much for me. Like, why is y'all going to find that girl Mama Grave? Like, what what the f like, at some point, we got to really get back to real life. Because stuff like that is just insane. For them to even think about going to date that mama, that girl mama grave up is crazy. Like, and then, like, <laughs> that, I just can't. I just can't. But, yeah, like I said, both sides really wrong. Both sides be poking at each other. And then, at the end of the day, I feel like when it comes to rap beef, ain't no hitting below the belt. Because, like, you going to say some foul shit, I'm going to say some foul shit back. Like, you cannot... I'm not gonna lie, like when somebody says something to you, you cannot predict what you would say. So you can't always say you ain't gonna break up somebody's relatives or this and that. You're gonna go below the belt if somebody else goes below the belt with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of hate that that part about rap stuff. But sometimes, I mean, it, there is a such thing as too far. But honestly, if somebody coming at your neck, how far is too far? Like, but you coming for me. You can't get mad because I didn't with a little lower. That's why I don't get into it with people, bitch. I don't got time. Because everything I say to you is not going to be nice. Like, n not at all. <laughs> not at all. Because I'm, I'm going to hurt your feelings. But, yeah, girl, I'm about to go ahead and finish watching a little podcast. I see lip service then posted, too, girl, with a little nail on there. Girl, I got to watch that. I know she's funny as hell. Okay. Lord, I'm already a little late with Chick-fil-A selling. What they got going? I'm supposed to be in and out. And a line not even moving for real. It's only one line open. All right, y'all, we back at home. Finally. Let's see what these clothes smelling like. Ooh, they still wet for real. Okay, they don't... Hold on, wait, wait. Oh, okay, they don't... Wait. I don't know, it's like they smell good, but then they got a little hint. Uh-uh, this towel will stink a little bit. I'm about to wash these again, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I just want to be on the safe side. I don't want my clothes to be smelling like not a bit of mildew. Cause a bitch like me won't be walking around smelling like that. No, never. Oh, y'all remember I told y'all I was going to work in high water. <laughs> Let me show y'all. Can y'all see? And then I got these black socks on cause my damn feet be cold, girl. I'm at work like this all day, y'all. Looking crazy. Like I got to um wash these clothes tonight and make sure that they looking up to par. I mean, not looking, smelling. All right, I'm gonna put three in there again. I cannot forget. I cannot forget. I also have another load of clothes to wash too. Uh, I hope that when I move, I don't have these like stacked up washer and dryer because I don't like that. Like that's one thing that irks me about my washer and dryer. Like I don't like reaching up and down i read the read side to side but um so that was a good day guys we came home to another wig collab let's see what this week is oh and also y'all remember hold on let me fix y'all y'all remember how i was telling y'all like baby this week started off a little rough it turned around it turned around so I ended up getting some editing done. And then I got some great news. <laughs> Today I got an email to do a collab that I have been manifesting for years. Almost two years at this point. I have been manifesting this collab. And I just thank God. Like, thank you so much, God. I'm so appreciative. Like, I just remember being like, I cannot wait for this to happen. And let me tell y'all right now. Stop saying what you wish can happen and start saying I can't wait till it happen because it can happen. 
And I'm just so thankful. I ain't gonna tell y'all what it is yet because I gotta get everything all up under wraps, you know, everything all together. But when the time comes, I need to start like celebrating because I feel like I don't be celebrating myself. So like, I'm gonna take myself out of something. Y'all, I keep, what do my mind be thinking about when I be saying yes to these collabs? I have three of the same wig, just different lengths. Y'all, this is another curly wig. This is the same way that I just did. It's not even a different length. This is the same exact way from the same exact company. Hold on, let me see. Let me, I got to see if this is right. Cause it's no way I agreed to this. It was me. It was me. I don't, you know what, it's all right. All I could do is do a different style with it. That's the only thing I could think to do. Either way, the money is getting made. But I just hate doing the same wigs back to back because it just, you know. But, um, yeah, y'all, it was a really good day, child. I am about to finish editing. The washing machine just went off. I'm about to go ahead and finish editing. I'm not that hungry, but I may eat before I go to bed. And then, um, I don't know. I might come back. I might come back once I'm done. Hopefully, if I'm done at a decent time. If I don't come back, then I'll see y'all in the morning. But I might come back after I'm done editing just to kind of like spend a little more night time with y'all. Because I feel like during these work vlogs, I don't really give y'all. Like, I give y'all some of like what I do when I get home. But I don't really like take y'all into the night for real. So, I might come back. Okay, y'all. We just in bed. Editing. <laughs> Literally. Whenever I edit, um, nine times out of ten, I'm in the bed. Or if I don't feel like being in my bed, I'll make myself go sit in there on the sofa. I used to edit at my vanity, but I think since I do so much content that I sit there as like least as possible because I just don't be wanting to sit right there. So I just be in the bed editing, child. This is like the most comfortable way for me to edit. But I just ate some um some of that chili. I got literally a little bit of chili left. That I'm going to eat for lunch tomorrow. And that's going to be a wrap on that. And um, what else I was about to say? Oh, before I started editing, I had to, um, for the collab I was just telling y'all about, I had to pick out the items um, that I had wanted. Because the first um, like couple of products that I picked out, they were sold out. So I had to go back in and redo my um, like all the stuff that I picked. So hopefully like the person hurry up and like put my my stuff in so like it won't like go out of stock or whatever but that took me a minute because i had like it just took me a minute because i'm real like indecisive about stuff that i like and like i'm just so picky so i it took me a minute to pick out some stuff so that's just what i've been doing child it is 9:42. i'm supposed to be done editing honestly by now but since it took me so long to do that, I'm going to spend a little bit more time editing because I'm supposed to be uploading tomorrow. So I'm trying to stick with it. I'm trying to trying to do what I'm, you know, what I'm supposed to do. But once I'm done with this, I'm going to watch this TV show that I've been watching called um, All the Queens Men on BET+. Plus. Um, Terea put me on to the show. It's actually um good. It's actually a good show. I ain't going to lie. I fell asleep on it the first night. So I had to kind of go back. But like everything has been really good so far. Let me know in the comments if y'all watching it. Also like give me some more show recommendations. Like which I've been watching like currently. Y'all already know I've been watching Power. Like that's my favorite. That's my all time favorite show. I don't care what season they on. I'm going to watch Power. Um, Watching All the Queens Men right now. What else I was watching? Oh Good Trouble. I've been watching Good Trouble. I've noticed that a lot of people don't really know about good trouble that's a good show so y'all should watch that it's on hulu but i will say you should watch the fosters before you watch that which is another show but if you don't watch the fosters you will still be kind of on track you you really you don't have to but like you you'll just understand the people more they dynamics or whatever but um yeah so i'm ready to be done editing so i could get me a little tv in but honestly if i take too long to edit we won't be watching tv tonight so 
I guess we'll see how this goes. And yeah, again, content done in the morning is going to be real, real dead. I'm not doing this ever again, y'all. I had to go try to nigga rig some stuff. This tripod is definitely too tall for this. Yeah. Okay. Um. Good morning. Anyways, it's Thursday. Oh, how I really, really wish this was my last day of the week. Like, I so miss it. I promise I do. Because it has been such a struggle waking up every single morning, bro. But I got up. I didn't get up, like, super early, but I got up early enough. Oh, my clothes smell good. <laughs> Who that hot towel gonna wake you up? If you ain't woke, that hot towel gonna wake you up. Maybe I should start doing this first instead of, like, getting dressed and stuff first. All right, let's put this wig on. This video about to be... I hate to put out content that is just not, like, you know, planned out, but... And, like, you know, actually, girl, it just is what it is. I can't even get the words out. One day left the post. All right, girl, I'm about to post it right now. Relax. Create. Oh, that lets you do it with cap cut, too? Oh, my. I hate this freaking angle. But it's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. Okay, y'all, so this the wig. I ended up putting the thing on, on the wig like this. <laughs> I want to share that shit that in the video. Like, I didn't feel like wearing it to sleep because it's a glueless. Maybe I could add that in there. And then, like, if I don't want it in there, I could just always take it out. This is too high up. I don't want to be looking up at my soul. Like, oh, I hate that. Okay, what do you guys think? I think it came out pretty good. Is it zoomed in? It's not. I don't like that. Let me put y'all down. Okay, this is how it came out. I think it came out pretty cute. Like, it's giving, like, the perfect, like, beach curls. That came out better than I thought it did. You know what? I'm, I'm okay. All right, now we got to hurry up because now we, we pushing for time. Um, I didn't even, I don't have any breakfast to, to bring with me. It's honestly giving go out and get breakfast again. Like, oh, I'm mad at myself for that, but... I literally got a little bit of chili left. Like, honestly, the amount of chili I got left in here really would be disrespectful for me to even bring the work with me, y'all. Like, but, like, <laughs> if I don't eat that, what can I eat? Um, I don't have anything I can just, like, bring to work with me. This is why I need to start back buying, like, the microwavable meals. That's why I, I, I need to go back to Trader Joe's. I feel great. Ooh. I had made me some cereal that I didn't eat the other day, so I'm gonna just make me some more cereal. I'm gonna eat that for breakfast, and then I'm probably just gonna bring this little bit of chili to work with me and do with a snack child. I get all the way outside of it. I don't even feel like it. Oh, but I didn't finish um editing until literally 12 o'clock last night, like on a dot. So, I just watched a little bit of TikTok before I went to bed because I felt like if I would have watched the show, like, I'd be so invested in shows that I will stay up all night and watch it. So, I didn't feel like dealing with that. This is probably enough, child. It'll be alright. Um, I didn't feel like dealing with that. So, I literally just watched some TikToks and then I literally fell asleep with my phone in my hand like I used to. But we don't need to start these bad habits again. We gotta, we gotta leave, that, leave that be. But... Um, I told you I was also falling asleep with my um TV on. I've been doing a better job at that as well. So like I haven't been falling asleep with the TV on. I've been turning it off, and I'm proud of myself because I don't know what that was about. I've never been a fall asleeper with the TV on her. Okay. This is this zoomed in. I'm gonna have to fix my camera settings because this thing is zoomed in. I swear it is. Oh, I look so up. Girl, I look so up every time I leave work. But y'all, we's at the Dollar Tree. Gonna get some um Valentine's Day stuff, shell. Um, I've been seeing the world shopping here on TikTok because they be having a lot of stuff. I think I already really have everything that I need from Walmart, but I just wanted to come in here and see what I could put my fingers on, you know. So let's see what they got. Ooh, we Look like the girls might have been wiping them out. They got Easter stuff putting, getting put up. Nah, let me show y'all. Mm. Okay, let's see. 
What these is? I saw a girl with these on TikTok. She had used these and put them on like the cabinets. I don't know. I'm gonna just get them. Oh, that's cute. What this for? I don't even know. I had to uh stop and get gas, of course. So let me show y'all what I ended up getting or oh, whatever. Gotta watch. Gotta watch. Um, so I saw these on the girl um TikTok and. These is the ones that she had. Like, she put them literally everywhere in the kitchen. I'm going to show y'all the TikTok when I get home. But these, I don't know if y'all can see. They look like little placemats. And then I saw this for like $3. It's a table runner. Super freaking cute. And then, Cha ended up getting um some damn Mighty Gras headbands. Just in case. I don't know. They was a dollar. So, I was like, fuck it. Let's get them. I think I am going to New Orleans for um, Mardi Gras. But I was just like, I don't, I'm still don't know. But I think I'm going. So, I just got one for um, all of us. And then, I got some goodie bags. These are so cute. I'm going to probably put some candy in these. What else? Some more stuff for, like, to put on the table. And then, more stuff to put on the table. Hold on, nigga. It's just steak. Oh, it smells so good out here. I am so hungry. I can't wait to get home. I'm probably going to make me the wings tonight that I was telling y'all about on the last vlog. Mm, they about to hit. I know they about to be good. But um, it was a lot more other stuff in there. But it was just kind of like a lot of stuff that I know I probably wouldn't need. Because I also got, like I, like I said, some stuff from um Walmart. Camo ended up getting it since she was already there. So, I got that stuff. I just need her to bring it to me. So, she probably not even going to bring me that till day of. And then, what else I got to get? I got to go get the champagne for the mimosas. I got time, though. This ain't till next week. But I am trying to just, like, be one of those people that is, like, prepared. So, I don't have to, like, once the time is. Once the time come, I'm, I already got everything I need, babe. We already got every item. Uh, It feels like such a Friday today. However, it isn't. Oh, I had wanted to ask y'all. This is like such a stupid question. <laughs> but like, whenever y'all turn y'all car on, like if you gotta put, uh, push the start, whenever you turn your car on, do you like put your foot on the brake and click the button one time and then let the car start? Or do you push your foot on the brake and hold the button down until the car starts? Like when I first got my car, I thought you had to literally just hold it down and that's how it started. But like, no, you literally just like push that. You, baby, you going the wrong way, girl. Yeah, my camera is messed up. Like it is, it will not zoom out. And I know for a fact, like this shit is zoomed in. Okay, anyways, um, I just found this out that like I literally have to just click it one time and it'll start up. I didn't know that. I thought you literally had to like have your hand on it until it came on. I don't know just something new. Like I, I didn't know that. I really didn't. <laughs> I also feel good because I got that video posted. I think that's really what it is. That's why I feel like Friday and I feel like I'm done for the week because I don't have to go home and edit for YouTube. I do have to go home and edit for TikTok but like that takes me like like that i'm gonna do voiceovers that way i'm gonna just talk and i've learned with my voiceovers i told y'all like it used to take me forever to do voiceovers because like i would just have so much anxiety and i had to keep starting over now i just be like if it, i'm gonna say what i say and call it a day <laughs> bars no for real though i really do feel like that like i want my content to just be authentically me like i don't have to sound 100 percent professional like i just want to be myself i want to talk how i want to talk even if it is like an ad or whatever like i still want to be able to add my little flavor to it because like it's it's my socials or whatever and speaking of that i was watching somebody video today and they was talking about this dang my camera about to die too damn you Oh, girl, this all flexing. This one is kind of big. Anyways, y'all, I'm back at home, child. The camera died. I really don't even remember what I was talking about. What was I talking about? I know it was about content, but I can't remember like what my point was. I think it was basically like me saying like I want to give back to like making content. 
solely because like it's what I like and not because I feel like oh I need to be perfect and I need to do it this way because this is what people want to see or this is how it should look versus like this is how I want it to look and I feel like back when I first started making content like that's that's how like I've gotten to where I am now especially on TikTok I was just posting what I wanted to post and being myself now I be trying to do all the cutesy stuff I don't really talk on that no more because I just feel like that's what I'm supposed to do and like I've seen so much more growth then rather than now like don't get me wrong I'm still growing now but I just had so much growth then than now like it's real slow right now so like definitely and i feel like i say this all the time too like i want to get back to content being fun i want to get back to content being fun but y'all that transition is really hard like once it starts to become somewhat of a business for you like it be like okay i gotta make sure this is perfect like it make you like just want to be a perfectionist but i really 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 want to get back to being just like doing what i want to do but still making it look good at the same time but anyways y'all one two three four five six we got a six piece swing and i'll make some fried rice with it it's giving american belly don't play with it so this is what we about to eat for dinner tonight hopefully this chicken thought out fast i'm so mad i didn't think about this this morning because i really could have had the chicken sitting in the refrigerator throwing but um what i gotta do tonight i have to do that voiceover for the video we did this morning <laughs> What else? Oh, I said I was going to pluck a wig because I'm going to install a wig probably tomorrow. So I want to go ahead and pluck it today. That way I don't have to be doing everything all in one setting. I feel like that would just be most fitting or whatever. But I cannot wait to put up my little um Valentine's Day the horror. Okay, so y'all know these. I saw the girl put them like up here like just everywhere in the kitchen like just making the kitchen cute let me show y'all the video and the video don't even have sound no more y'all because oh that was so loud why is um tiktok muting so many sounds like they're having this thing right now where they're getting ready getting rid of all copyrighted stuff and i feel like that is about to be tiktok's downfall because for one, that's the reason TikTok became so big. Because you can put out content and you can have this good music on there without getting copyrighted. Instagram is notorious for copyrighting some shit. So people don't really post freely on there. You have to follow all these strict guidelines. Even like with being on live and stuff. On TikTok it was more free. But now that they like cracking down on like copyright and stuff. I feel like stuff is just not gonna go well. Like a lot of my videos got muted last night. And I'm really annoyed about that. I'm thinking like, oh, it was one or two. But I kept seeing people talk about it on my time. Like, my videos keep getting muted. My videos keep getting muted. I'm like, they didn't mute it the fuck. Like, I went through my whole page. And I see so many of my videos get muted. And it was videos that's still doing good to this day. So, you already know how that goes. Once the sound is going off a video, nobody's watching that shit. So, y'all really like, that's aggravating. But let me show y'all this video that I'm referring to right now. Y'all see? So y'all see how she put the little pink things everywhere? They like all on the cabinets and everything. I got that same mirror, girl. I probably could put some balloons right there. But yeah, cute little vibe. So that's what we gonna... I'm excited for this. This is like my first time like hosting, hosting. Like, and actually decorating and stuff. So it's gonna be fun. But let me go ahead and cook. And then do this damn voice. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Because I keep saying what I'm about to do do it okay y'all so the rice is done it's not the cutest and we're about to taste it okay i'm just gonna eat off this i'm the only bitch who lives here it's pretty good the only thing i would say is it's too gingery like if they tone down on the ginger it would be so good and it's spicy like got that little hint of spice i ended up not putting no shrimp in it because i ain't feel like throwing the shrimp out and all that my chicken almost done should be done in like 10 minutes i don't think i'm about to eat the rest of this rice though it's not nasty but it's also not good so like i mean i don't want to say not good it's not like up to my liking i'll say that so for me to want to keep eating it i don't know maybe it's too gingery like that first bite just straight ginger 
But like once you get past that, it's good. Mm -mm. I'm over here watching Bailey and Sarian. I wash the dishes. I just be vibing out sometimes when I get home, y'all. I might, ooh, I might, ooh, I, I'm about to drink some of my own. I forgot I let it get cold. I'm finna drink some of this. Look at how much I have. I only have one, I'm about to say one and a half. Cause I didn't even drink the second. I had one and a half cups and this shit almost gone. All right, our wings are ready. Let me show y'all what they looking like. I like my wings fried extra hard. What's that uh, TikTok when a girl be like, lemon pepper sprinkle, extra wet, extra crunchy. <laughs> That's how I like my wings. This is what they looking like. I decided, I usually season them beforehand, but I decided not to because um, I'm gonna season them now and I'm gonna use the sauce. And I just didn't want them to be too salty. You know how like when you season something before and after it be too salty, like, so I don't want to deal with that. Damn, it's stuck to the furrow. Okay. Got me a little six feet. Hi, right, lemon pepper sprinkle. I don't like my extra weight though. They can keep that. They can keep that. They gonna keep that. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let me get a little thumbnail. Yeah, this phone girl, I don't care, it is what it is. All right, so t on today's episode, we're going to be making at home buffalo lemon pepper, not buffalo, mild lemon pepper wings. So today we have Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything, mild sauce. I never had this before, y'all, actually. I never ever had this one, so let me taste it before I put it on my wings and be pissed off and because it ain't good. I don't remember the last brand I had. I think I had Frank's Hot Sauce. And I, I wasn't a fan of it. So I don't know why I turned around and bought Frank's Mild Sauce. When I should have just got a different brand. But it was the, it was the first one I saw a child. I was trying to get up out that stove. God damn. It's a little strong. I feel like Mild really be hot. For real. Alright let's see. What the hell? Y'all. Why do this taste like honey mustard or something? It's so tangy. What the fuck kind of my... I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Like, I don't have no other sauce. None. It's really giving just regular lemon pepper wings. Man, what the... I cannot put this on my wings. This I'm going to be pissed. This is not good. I'm about to throw this bottle away right now. Who won't it? Oh, my God. Like, it's so tangy and sour. Like, I got to keep... Like, it keep making me make a face. Whoever's eating that... <coughs> you know better. You have no business. None at all. Child be keeping that furrow. In the air fryer because I don't be uh feeling like cleaning it. Damn. All right, we just gonna do lemon pepper. Fuck it. And we got the Kroger brand lemon pepper seasoning. And child is gonna be dinner, child. I'm about to drink my little drink. Finish watching Bailey Sarian. Little true crime. And then um yeah, that's gonna be my night. Okay, y'all. So I don't want the vlog to end abruptly. I did end up vlogging Friday morning, but like the footage is, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm not, it's not uploading or whatever, but I just made me some breakfast. Told y'all how I made the breakfast. I'm going to just show y'all the breakfast on another video when I make it for work. Then I talked about my birthday, some old child, like just ranting for real, for real, nothing major. So, you know, if y'all got to the end of this video, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I didn't do too much editing in this video or whatever. It was really just kind of give a, like, FaceTime all throughout the week with your girl, okay? Because I was stressed out, okay? And, yeah. So, like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here. If you're not new here, thank y'all so much for supporting me. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next Vlogster. Peace out, okay?